Hey everyone and welcome back to the 1v1 series, a series where we pit two DBD killers against one another based on stats and our six categories, strength, agility, stealth, power, resistance and intelligence to decide which one would come out victorious. Strength is an assessment of the killer's physical strength, agility is an assessment of how quickly they can move and strike their weapon, stealth is how stealthy they are, power is how effective or strong their power is, resistance is their ability to resist incoming direct attacks, and intelligence is an assessment of how smart or resourceful they are. With these scores and my own reasoning for each of the numbers, we will decide who I think would likely win in a 1v1 fight. I'm going to try and be as objective as possible and be without any bias. If you didn't know, this series is becoming a bit of a tournament. Here's the table so far for the first elimination round. The goal of this series being a search for the strongest killer in the game. Today we are seeing who would win the 1v1 fight, the hag or the death slinger. Let's get into it. We begin with strength, a questionable category for our two contestants. Let's start off with death slinger. Death slinger is a pretty normal guy, which instantly makes me want to place him at five. However, we do have to consider other factors such as his weaponry, which in this case is a harpoon gun. This gun looks not so heavy, but does have a whole spear with a coiled chain in it, which goes quite far. And hey, chains are heavy, seriously. And with this heavy chain, he then has to drag a speared person in, which probably bumps him up a bit. I think his whole role as a bounty hunter will mean he has some decent strength. So he's getting a seven, mostly due to the likelihood that the harpoon chains and gun combined are heavy when he is also pulling in a survivor. So, 7. Hag is a different story, and one that many will be quick to judge. You look at her and you think, oh well, she isn't strong, she's bent over, crippled, skinny, but she does have a greatly strengthened arm, which is the one she uses to M1 with. This arm is much thicker and has the capability to break pallets like other killers do with their feet or their weapons. So Hag isn't to be dismissed. The fact her swinging hand can do the same damage as a machete or hatchet is also quite impressive and indicates a considerable force. So her outright strength regardless of stature, is going to be 6. Remember though, this is only relative to the Death Slinger, not as an overall number for all killers. Okay, on to agility. The Death Slinger has a movement speed of 4.4 meters per second, which tells us his agility is lower than most killers. From his appearance, we can deduce that he isn't overly mobile, which is why he clearly relies on his gun for range instead of close proximity. He also walks with a limp and has a strange posture, his attacks aren't particularly agile either, he lunges forward quite roughly with his bayonet and he goes into a stun when someone breaks his chain. In all these regards, I think this hurts his score, a small redeeming factor being his quite fast ADS time. Although with all this in mind, I'm making him a 4. He redeems slightly by his good movement when harpooning. Okay, Hag now. The Hag's movement speed is 4.4 meters per second also, so this kind of agility matches her appearance. Quite similar to the Death Slugger, she is bent over and crippled. With this said, she ambles about fairly easily without too much trouble. She bends down and fully crouches down despite her twisted spine and seems to move freely despite her larger arm being a bit lumbering. When she teleports, she also kind of jumps up and through into her projection, which shows some agility. So yeah, I don't know. I actually think she's quite quick. She can also teleport and insta swing. She doesn't have a cooldown or anything. She's quite efficient. So agility, I'm giving her a six but not higher as she does still look to have physical restrictions. Okay, now we are on to stealth. Another questionable one. Death Slinger is, well, I think he is actually quite stealthy. Due to his ranged attacks and also smaller tear radius that he gets, he actually sneaks up quite well with this combination. However, he is slow, so if he does get spotted, he's screwed. He's also quite tall and obvious from a distance. But with proper usage of him sneaking around and preparing a shot, he can be sneaky. So above average at six. Now, Hag is actually quite shockingly stealthy, due to her traps being placed down and being barely visible, she doesn't even need to be near you to get a hit really, and then another when you trigger more traps. So in this regard she has stealth a bit like Trapper did, where she can sneak away, trap an area up, and catch you off guard, her only downside being outright chases. However, she is small and quite quick as we've established, at least attack wise. We can also consider her add-ons that make traps not trigger any phantasm and others that don't make a sound, like rusty shackles for example. So yeah, I think Hag actually does really well and gets a 9 here. Next up we have power, and Deathslinger isn't looking too great here either to be honest. He's got a simplistic power, just a harpoon gun. So as I do with all powers that are just extra weapons, we would place him at 3, but due to it being specially and uniquely crafted, he's actually going to get a 5 instead, an average, but good considering his power is only a weapon. Hag has quite a good power, with her ability to set 10 traps that allow her to teleport to them. 
However, after teleporting, she does become exposed slightly. However, also though, she can just use these as distractions and doesn't so much need to actually teleport to them, just to scare whoever she hunts. The traps themselves and the teleporting ability I think scores her pretty well and we're giving her an 8 for this, with a 2 point drawback from 10 due to her being slightly exposed upon teleporting. Ok, on to resistance. Deathslinger definitely has some resistance due to his height, but he does get stunned when his chain is broken, which hints a fairly weak resistance to a sudden pull in weight. I think overall he's pretty average though really. Although fairly old, poor movement and such, he is tall and he's also able to recover and almost instantly ADS after being stunned. So I think for this he gets a 5. Hag is not resistant. She is small, quite crippled, and has exposed skin, and also quite a lack of muscle, meaning she won't be resistant really, especially with direct blows. With that said, she can withstand pallets just as easily as other killers, so I think we have to consider that she's below average, but be fair by giving her a 2. Final round, we have intelligence, which I will judge them both together on, as I think neither are intelligent in the typical sense, but they both have very high resourcefulness. Deathslinger is a bounty hunter, a tracker, and is capable of survival. Hag is also similar, capable of setting clever traps in a sneaky way and being resourceful with her surroundings. So they are going to score highly for a good proportion of resourcefulness, despite lack of a standard type of intelligence. They both get an 8. So this brings the final scores to 39 to Hag and 35 to Deathslinger. So yeah, Hag wins. This means she will be moving on to the next round and fighting against last week's winner in the second heat. Here's the view of the current table now. All right, and now it is time for the description of the fight. It's a cold day. Deathslinger is slowly trudging through backwater swamp, his eyes fixated on the reeds around him, checking for any movement but all he can hear is crickets and there's nothing in sight. He takes a harder grip on his gun and looks down to the ground to try and find some tracks. Anything that can help him find his bounty, but there's nothing. He continues walking, stopping suddenly, his eyes catching it immediately, a marking in the mud just ahead of him. It's right in the open. Too much in the open, he decides. He begins to sneak around it, cautious with his step and his gun raised, ready to shoot whatever comes in his tracks. Suddenly a sound erupts as a phantasm bursts out the ground. Deathslinger aims, his finger itching the trigger, but not quite firing. The phantasm wriggles and fades away. He looks around once more and sees a smaller shimmer as a creature scuttles between the trees. He keeps forward, and again he hits another phantasm. It shocks him more this time, catching him off guard, throwing him off his step as he triggers another behind him. The hag pops out, slashing his back open. He turns quickly and butts the hilt of his gun into her head, smacking her to the floor. He aims but she scuttles away on all fours, his harpoon firing, piercing her thin arm on the way, almost severing it completely. She screeches in pain. Deathslinger walks forward and again he hits another trap. Hag teleports to him, slashing him down the chest and taking a huge bite from his crippled leg. He has no weapons, the harpoon is still pinned into the mud. He feels the pain and it buckles him over. She creeps around behind him, her claw hand covering his head. She bites into his neck, he falls down, dead. Okay, so thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Thanks, and goodbye.